everyone! In today's video, I would like to share with you four powerful habits of successful students that will help you ace your winter finals like a boss. Because hey, studying during these gloomy winter months and also during the holidays is challenging enough. So don't worry about it, your grandma's got your back. But before we get into all of that, a small yet important reminder that you are not alone. If you are feeling down in the dumps or if you have a tendency to isolate your yourself while binge prepping for your exams, I would like to introduce to you a tool that will act as a much needed blanket of support and encouragement. The tool in question is called Goodwall, and I would like to thank them very, very much for first, existing, and second, for sponsoring this part of the video. If you've never heard of them, I invite you to check them out because they are a great source of motivation and inspiration for students all over the world. And did I mention that the app is like completely free? In a nutshell, Goodwall helps you connect with your peers, universities, colleges, and even scholarship opportunities. Think of it as a more engaging, student-focused version of LinkedIn. You start by creating your profile, like so, the perfect opportunity to list your skills, your academic and professional achievements, and hey, you can even make a video to let your personality shine. It's like your own personal website that you can then share with the good wall community. Next, you can cater your feed to best match your interests. I love it and I already found so many McGillians who also majored in clinical psych like me. It's so interesting to me to see a wide variety of academic and professional journeys that stem from the same interest. I would love to maybe start, I don't know, like a psychology group chat in there. So if you're already using the app or whenever you have your profile set up, definitely DM me and we can create our little group together. How about that? Another thing I really love about this app is, oh, I don't know, the over like 5 million jobs and internships you can browse through. Wouldn't have that been great when I was in my bachelor's. Well, you know what? You take advantage of this for me since I didn't have this luxury when I was in my undergrad. So, Go to the App Store, download Goodwall, find me on there, and definitely please comment on my latest post. Now let's start the new year right by coming together to achieving great things in 2020. Habit number one, acknowledge the distractions. There are literally two tricks that I use every time I get distracted, especially when I am tired and my mind tends to wander a lot. And that is, before starting to study, I do what is famously known as a brain dub. So I just take a blank sheet of paper and I write down all of my distracting thoughts. Oh my God, did I buy a present for Bruno's grandma? I don't remember that. Hmm, this is the other and on. My god, that chicken smells good. I know it sounds a little bit hocus pocusy, Harry Pottery, but it actually works. Once you externalize your distracting thoughts, put them on paper, then put that paper away, you are more able to focus at the task at hand. And successful students know this. A lot of my friends do it and they didn't tell me in time, but I figured it out on my own. Hey, hey better late than never. Make it a habit to write down whatever intrusive thought, whatever thing that comes to your mind that breaks your focus. Once again, putting this out there is a very cathartic way to free up your mind and to kind of metaphorically, I guess, tell yourself, I'll deal with you later. But right now, this arithmetic has has got a tick. I don't know. I'm tired. Don't judge me. Habit number two, work with your weakness. Don't ignore or fight against your body's natural response to the cold winter months. Look at the bears. What do they do? They hibernate. You are going to feel more tired. You are going to want to procrastinate more. You will be feeling exhausted and cold and sleepy. And you know what? Sometimes low-key just sad looking outside because it's dark and it's only like three. Instead of fighting against all of those things that are You know, it happens to all of us. It's natural. Try to mold your study routine and integrate those, you know, given reactions into your study session. Meaning, I spoke about this in my more chillax sister talk videos, but what I used to do in winter because I could not for the life of me focus at a desk was that I 
transformed my study sessions, my winter study sessions, into mini spa relaxing time. Don't take this too literally, grain of salt, but for example, add an element of comfort um, at your study desk. So put a nice comfy blanket on your chair so it's nice and soft when you lie down to study. Light a beautiful Christmassy scented candle. Put a face mask on while you're reading. Just allow your body to relax at the same time as be productive. Trust me, what this does is that it associates a studying with a reward. So your brain no longer thinks, oh, well, I have to bust my mm and finish this and then I'll get to relax. It's going to think, oh, well, studying is actually my me comfy time. So you're more likely to enjoy studying in the wintertime and you know, your study environment is going to be way more inviting. Habit number three, the lie we all tell ourselves. You've heard it from a billion study gurus, from your parents, from your friends. This is always a common advice for when people are freaking out because it's the finals and you always have to be go, 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 go. Take a break. We love to say it. We love to hear it. But how many of you actually do it? Not just playing a video game or going out with your friends and the whole time you're zoned out, freaking out about how you should be home studying. Remember in habit number two, one, I think we use brain dumping with distracting thoughts. You can use the same method to clear your mind of all those to do's that are on your list. And again, kind of remove them from yourself and say that I will deal with you later. Right now, I need to enjoy some time with my family. I need to take a proper break. Another thing you can try doing is meditation, especially mindfulness meditation. So the one where you just focus on different parts of your body. If you want me to do a full on guide meditation on that let me know I always thought it was a great idea but I didn't know how many people would be interested in that so give it a thumbs up and let me know but bottom line guys you need to understand that taking a break like I said before a proper break where you don't think about all the things you have to do at all for a good hour or actually more is essential it should be part of your studying routine for finals. Successful students know this. You need to be recharged, refreshed, and to take care of your mind, body, and soul in order to get those A's. There's no way around it. And finally, habit number four, the buildup. Focus is not an end state. It is gradual. You build focus brick by brick. It is very important that you internalize and truly understand and come to terms with this definition. Because a lot of students sit down and just expect themselves to be fully concentrated and fully focused. Unfortunately, or fortunately, like a good relationship, like a good neighbor and I will get demonetized. Um, focus takes work, okay? You need to build momentum, which is actually, in my opinion, a very good thing. To me, it's a relief that when I sit down to study, especially when I'm cold and grumpy and I just want soup and McDonald's, that I don't have to be full on focused and full on amazing from the second I sit down. To me, it's very comforting knowing that I can take my time and slowly build that concentration and build that energy and really take the time to enter the study bubble. Do the least effortful, most minimal thing you can do first. Write your name on a piece of paper. Once you finish that, go on to the next smallest thing, smallest step, smallest task, you can tackle and just keep doing them. Keep doing those small tasks until you lose track of the fact that you have to think, oh, what's the next task I have to do? And that is when, my friend, you are fully focused. Be patient with yourself. It will work fabutastically. Okay. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to me if you like what you see because I try my best to post videos every Thursday. If you have any video suggestions or recommendation, always leave them in the comments down below because I really try to do what you guys ask me to do.